Good morning, Albemarle. I'm Kendrick. And I'm Sage. Today's November 7th, and it's now time for your morning announcements. Here's what's going around AHS. Our principal, Mr. Thomas, is here with a special announcement about chat. Good morning, Patriots. This is Mr. Thomas, your principal, and I wanted to speak with you about chat for a few minutes this morning. A brief history on chat. A few years ago, when we started chat, we had heard loud and clear from teachers and parents and students that they needed times during the day to be able to meet with clubs and also needed time to be able to make up homework, missing assignments, and just to get with teachers. So we've implemented the chat over the last couple of years and been very consistent with our schedule. Now, what I'm asking you to do is make sure you're respectful of that chat time. That chat time is for an instructional time and for you to be able to make up missing assignments, missing work, and to be able to get with your teachers. That chat, when you're asked to come by a teacher, is not optional. If, if there's a conflict in your schedule and a teacher asked you to come to meet with them during chat, then please clearly communicate with that teacher and tell them why you can't make it and make sure that you schedule a different date and time. Please do not put yourself in a situation where they're writing a ring referral and that you're going to be disciplined for skipping chat. Chat is an instructional time. If you are up to date with all your work, with all your assignments, you don't need to see a teacher, a teacher doesn't need to see you, then that time is yours to be able to, to do whatever you need to do with it and to eat lunch. If, but however, if a teacher asks you to come during half of that chat, then you are required to go to that time. So I want to make sure you clearly understand that. That was communicated at the beginning of the year during our, our assemblies, and it's just a good chance now at the end of our first nine weeks to have a refresher on that. Also, we ask you two different things. One, clean up your trash when you're done. No one here is paid to walk around and pick up your french fries, your plates, your milk cartons throughout the school, and it's just disgusting that you would leave the stuff lying around. So take one second and pick up your stuff before you leave and put it in a trash can. We have plenty of trash cans throughout the building. And the other thing is the hallways and the stairwells. Safety reasons, you should not be sitting in the stairwells. We don't want anyone sitting in the stairwells throughout the day and during chat. That, that's a safety concern for us as people are going up and down. If you are in the hallways, that's fine, but make sure there's enough room that people can safely pass by as they're walking. So thank you. If you have any questions about chat, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts and comments. Uh, we have a, a school improvement council that meets once a month. We have a lot of good conversations about chat and many other things that are going on to the school, and you're always welcome to come to that as well. Thank you. Attention all ESOL students, don't forget about ESOL Family Night. It will be tonight from 5.30 to 7.30 in the Media Center. If you haven't already, please make sure your ESOL teacher knows that you and your family will be there. The Patriots Writer Studio is open for the rest of this block and chat. We're open tomorrow during fourth period. Come on in if you like a comfortable place to work on writing or projects. Peer tutors are also available for help and feedback. The studio is located next to the attendance office and the Media Center. Right on. The fall show will be premiering soon. Steel Magnolia, starring Tara, Malika, Brianna, Olivia, Izzy, and Morgan, will be opening Friday, November 22nd at 8 p.m. with another 8 p.m. on Saturday the 23rd. And a special double, fe double feature, Matinee, on Sunday the 24th with RNJ. Tickets for Steel Magnolias will be on sale for $7, $10 for both shows of the double feature, and $5 to see RNJ only on Sunday. Tickets will be sold in the cafeteria soon at the door. This Friday, November 8th, the French Honor Society will be hosting French Film Night in rooms 125 and 130. Admission per person costs $2 and will start at 6 p.m. Members, remember to bring your food or beverage before school starts tomorrow in room 125. Both the boys and girls cross country teams qualified for state championship yesterday. The girls team finished fifth and the boys placed second at the 5A regionals. Ryan Thomas and Zach Gentry earned all region honors. Come cheer on the volleyball team tonight as they take on Halifax. This game determines a conference champion, so come on out and show your spirit and push the team to another victory. The game starts at 6. The Almaro football team will be traveling to Orange for the last game of the regular season. Good luck, team. All boys trying out for basketball. There will be a final sign-up meeting today in the small gym during the first half of chat. If you can't attend, see Coach Maynard in the men's PE office. Attention all football players, please stop by Coach Alley's office, room 109, to pick up important banquet information. That's it for your morning announcements. Have, Have a, great a great day, day Al Morrow. Morrow.